Hey, hey out there in Facebook land, how you guys doing this afternoon? This is Gail Gentry, your online marketing professional, helping you fire your boss and control your time in your online business. And I'm back again to continue with the book review, The Science of Getting Rich, Chapter 7, Gratitude. So as you're uh, chiming into the broadcast, please let me know where you're chiming in from, um, you know, because I'd like to circle back to you after the broadcast is over with. Let me know where you're coming in from. And if you if this is your first time seeing me live here on Facebook, type in the number one. If you uh, have seen me before, hey, Felicity, how you doing? If you've seen me before here live on Facebook, type in hashtag bet. And if you're catching me on the replay, type in hashtag replay. So some of you may be thinking, hey, this is deja vu. Gail, I just saw you do this live a bit earlier today. Thank you again, Felicity, for joining me. Um, However, uh, I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> Gotta love technology, right? We're in an online business, and you have to remain flexible when you're in an online business. Hey, Jasmine, how you doing? Because technology can sometimes uh, fail on you. But those of us that are steadfast in our quest to have a successful online business, we just simply roll with the flow. We simply uh, make adjustments and get back on to it. So I'm back here. Uh, to give a full review of this particular chapter of the book, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. My millionaire mentor, Mr. Uh, Robert Hollis, has said, Gail, you need to read this book. And after you read this book, you need to do a book review and share this out with other folks. So, hey, Angela, so I'm going to say to you now, share this out with other people and give me some hearts and some likes if you're feeling some value from this and if you're feeling me on this. But this chapter was packed with so much I had to do an individual. Uh, I had to do an individual uh, review of this chapter by itself. I could not combine it with any other chapters. And as you guys are chiming in, I'm going to invite some folks out that have asked me, "Hey, Gail, when you go live, please invite me out because I want to catch you live." Uh, and I appreciate those that come in on the replay. You guys are wonderful. And I'm looking down here because I'm looking at. The invitation tabs to invite those folks that have asked me to do so and I so appreciate you guys coming in whether you're live or on the replay and either way I want to uh, acknowledge you so please let me know where you're live and in from and uh, we will get right into it so today's topic is gratitude in the science of getting rich this book talks about you know it is a and I'm going to review a little bit this book talks about with the mathematical certainty, if you think and act in a certain way with a mathematical certainty, you will become rich. And will the riches just be for you? Uh, no, the riches are for you personally, you know, physical, you know, for your physical uh, uh, enjoyment and, and um, you know, pleasure is, as well as uh, your uh, comfortability with regard to wealth but also spiritually and how you can help the world. How can you impact the world once you become rich? Because here's the deal. If you were poor, broke, no money, you're so focused on taking care of your basic needs that you cannot even help anybody. I mean, you really, you could barely help yourself, let alone be of a big impact to, uh, to, to the rest of the world. And the reason to get rich is not just for you, because guess what? You are not serving the universe, you're not serving anyone by playing it small. You need to play it big. Type in the comment stream if you're feeling me. Type in the comment stream, play big. You need to play big. And in order to do that, in order to realize your fullest potential that you have for folks, that you have for yourself, so you can be your own, you know, be your biggest self because creation wants to continue to grow. This universe that we live in, the Milky Way. You know, our universe is continuing to expand and grow and has been since the beginning of it, right? We are all part of that one thought substance, that one thinking substance that is getting larger and larger and larger. And creation wants to create more. It does not want to stop. So therefore, you know, all of these things that you've had, if it's been heavy on your heart to be an entrepreneur, to grow an online business or, you know, a brick and mortar business or, you know, whatever it is you're doing, if it's heavy on your heart, God, the universe, Allah, whatever you want to call it, thinking substance has provided a way for you to do it. But in order for you to really get there, it has to begin with gratitude. Let me just read this little chap, this little piece right here. First, you believe that there is one intelligent substance from which all things proceed. Second, 
you believe that this substance gives you everything you desire. And third, you relate yourself to it by a feeling of deep and profound gratitude. So, you know, it's, a, it's the law of reciprocity, right? It's the law of gratitude. You, you're we're grateful for certain things in your life, you know, good and bad. And guess what? It comes back to you. So I'm going to say this because, again, I got, you know, booted out <laughs> earlier for uh, connectivity issues. I want to give you guys a free book, a free copy of this book, The Science of Getting Rich, by you going to our group at uh, My Own Boss Freedom Tribe right here on Facebook. And when you click on the uh, gifts tab, you will not only get free gifts, but you'll get a free download of this book. So if someone would be so kind as to type in the comment stream the uh, address of the Facebook group, which is www.facebook.com forward slash groups, forward slash my own boss, freedom tribe, uh, lowercase or uppercase, either way, it doesn't matter. If someone would be so kind as to type that in the comment stream so you guys can get your copy of this book. So as I was reading this chapter, I'm like, oh my God, this is so much good stuff. This chapter, you could basically highlight this entire chapter. And the nice thing about this book it's a short read. Why is it a short read? And I mean, you know, it's, it's less than 100 pages, I believe, or just, just yeah, it's less than 100 pages, 90 pages. Why is this book a short read? Because it gets to the point. There is no fluff in this book. You can literally highlight the entire book. And the book instructs us, hey, Priceless, how you doing? The book instructs us to uh, read it over and over and over again. So this becomes a working part of our mind that this absolutely happens over and over again. So for those of you that are wondering, hey, you know, this person, you know, is in the same business that I'm in, same, you know, multi-level marketing business I'm in, same affiliate program I'm in, they're blowing it up. They're killing it. In six months, they made six figures. You know, in four months, they made director, you know, in two months, you know, they got to the top of the, you know, compensation plan. And now they're, you know, really rolling in dough. And you're probably wondering, what are they doing that I'm not doing? They are thinking and acting in a certain way, and they are grateful. Notice all of these top earners. You hear them over and over and over again talking about how grateful they are to their creator, to God, to substance, to whatever they want to call it, that they are absolutely grateful to it. And as a result, they are getting more of the same. So if you're sitting out there saying to yourself, wow, you know, I can't do this or wow, how come this isn't happening for me? Or, you know, so you're getting more of that. You're getting more of it not happening for you. You're getting more of it, you know, uh, not being for you. You're getting more of how come it's happening to everybody and it's not happening to you. You have to absolutely believe that one, God is on your side. <laughs> Okay, type that in the comment stream. God is on your side. Hey, Abbas, how you doing? Type in the comment stream. If you're feeling me, God is on your side. And again, please feel free to share this out because folks need to know that there is something out there. There is a thought substance. There is a spiritual reality out there that God wants you to be rich. You know, and a lot of folks think, you know, it's particularly in organized religion that, you know what, God doesn't want me to be rich. You know, it's about, you know, helping the poor and this whole altruistic you know, way of being, which is true. God does want you to help others, but uh, focusing on folks being poor will not help them. Focusing on poor getting rich will help them, okay? So let me just point out too, not only to be uh, grateful for the good, but also grateful for the not so good. Case in point, I gave this example earlier, but it, it, it's, it's worthy of a, re, of a restatement. Earlier, uh, yesterday, yesterday, I took my computer in to be repaired because it, it wouldn't start. It wouldn't start. So I was there with the, with the service man, uh, with the repair guy at uh, Fry's, and he had to walk away. Hey, Karen, how you doing? He had to walk away uh, to go find something. I stood there, waited. You know, he was gone about five, six minutes. And uh, then he came back and he, you know, said a few things to me. Then he walked away again, gone about another five, six minutes, maybe eight minutes. So the third time that he came back, you know, I had to, you know, uh, get to the restroom. So I asked him, hey, where's the restroom? And he left again and I left and I left that computer sitting on the counter because, you know, I didn't think anything was, was, was a big deal. I go to the restroom. He comes back. I come back. The computer is gone. And come to find out another uh, uh, customer in the store who had given his name, who had, you know, had given them something to work on, had actually, you know, picked up the computer and walked out with it while the two of us had left. And, 
you know, now some of you may be saying, oh man, why did you lost your computer? Not only do you have to pay for a new computer, but you lost all of your data. Oh my God, what are you going to do? Oh my God, it could be totally discouraged about that, right? And initially I was too, I'll be honest. Initially I was too, but type in the word encouraged. If you're feeling me, if you're getting any value out of this, type in the word encouraged. I was profoundly grateful because Guess what? These days, everything is stored on the cloud. So thank you, Jesus. My stuff was stored on the cloud. So I was grateful that my data was stored on the cloud. Therefore, I didn't really lose a whole lot of anything that really, really mattered. There's a lot of old stuff, which I have. Hey, Joanne, which I have on a, uh, you know, thumb drive. Um, so I can easily restore that. Two, I have insurance. I was grateful for that, that I have insurance if, in fact, the computer isn't restored. I was also grateful that this particular individual, when they took the computer, they had left all their information. So when the police were called, you know, they have every clue in the world. Like, you know, they, we say all the time in online business space, hey, success leaves clues. This guy left clues. <laughs> he left his phone number, his name, his address. All they had to do is just go over there and get it. So now, you know, I'm going to give them a day and tomorrow I will contact the police to see, you know, unless they contact me first, if they had, in fact, you know, uh, recovered the computer. Uh, also, to uh, he took the computer and it would not start, so he can't get into my data, uh, you know. And he left the plug there, and he left, and there's no battery, so there's no way for the computer to even operate, even if it was operational. So there were a lot of things to be grateful for, and I was tremendously grateful for the way that the folks at Price handled the situation. Now, I do have to admit, I wasn't my best person. <laughs> When I discovered my computer had been lost, I immediately wanted to, you know, blame the, the counter guy. But then I had to get honest. The reality is I left the computer there, too. I should have took it, taken it with me to the bathroom. And, too, I had to commend those guys for uh, the way that they handled the situation. They uh, immediately went to their cameras and found, uh, you know, who had taken the computer, called the police. And the police arrived in a timely manner, and we were able to put in a report. And the manager there in the service department, Mr. Um, Mr. Ben Sanchez, I believe is his name. His first name is Ben, but Ben Sanchez was so helpful for me. So I was, I, you know, like the Bible says, God, you know, Satan meant it for bad, but God meant it for good. Something that could have been horrible, actually, I could see, I could get grateful about it. And that's what this chapter is talking about. You know, when good things happen to you, it says here, it is easy to understand that that the never that the nearer we live to the source of wealth, the more wealth we shall receive. And the source of wealth is the thinking substance. And it is easy also to understand that the soul that is always grateful, our own selves, is closer, is in closer touch with God than the one which never looks to him in thankful acknowledgement. So when good things happen to you, acknowledge God, acknowledge that. Hey, thank you, you know, God, for providing this for me. Thank you, God, you know, for bringing me closer to you. Guess what? When you have those profound feelings, profound emotional uh, uh, thing going on with gratitude, guess what? It brings more gratitude toward you. It brings more of the goodness toward you, right? So if you're focusing on the negative and how come it's not working and all that, guess what? That's, that's you know, coming to you more and more. So, so contemplate on and feel profound gratitude for the goodness that is happening to you. The fact that you have an online business, the fact that you have a computer system that works, the fact that there are so many great mentors and teachers out here like a Keisha Bass, like a Zach Shahi, like a Ryan Cody McMorris, like a Diane Hockman, like a uh, Robert Hollis that are more than happy to share what they know with you. Obviously, there's some costs involved when you get to a certain level, but they will initially give you tons and tons and tons of value so you can determine if in fact you want to go into the paid program at the end of this i don't have anything paid to talk about but i do have something free to talk about which is for you to join my group at my own boss freedom tribe where you can get tremendous value at that group and get a download a free download of this book uh the science of getting rich and let me just continue the more grateful we fix our minds on the supreme when good things come to us, the more good things we will receive and the more rapidly they will come. And the reason simply is that the mental attitude of gratitude draws the mind into closer touch with the science from with the source from which the blessings come. That is the law of gratitude is the natural principle that 
natural principle that action and reaction are always equal and in opposite uh, in opposite direction. So as you, you know, hey, Odette, how you doing? As you, um, you know, push out the gratitude uh, out there more and more, guess what? More things, more good things come back to you. So I just wanted to share that tidbit with you. Uh, and, and one last thing, draw nigh unto God and he will draw nigh unto you. That is a statement of psychological truth, all right? So, and then the moment that you believe negatively, guess what? It starts to go away. So as my mentor, millionaire mentor, uh, Robert Hollis would say, you know, a thought of doubt will kick you out. I'm paraphrasing. A thought of doubt will kick you out. So stay positive. Stay knowing that it's happening. If you're not familiar with my millionaire mentor, uh, Mr. Robert Hollis, you can Google him. Uh, his name is Robert. The traditional spelling last name is H-O-L-L-I-S. He is a documented seven-figure income earner. He's helped 50 people, over 50 people, 51 people actually, you know, become millionaires too. My mentor, my online mentor, Zach Shahid, has said, Gail, look, I'm number 52. I'm claiming spot number 53. What spot are you going to claim? Are you going to uh, fall into your uh, supreme uh, uh, self and, you know, know that you are supposed to be rich, know that God wants to create you, know that uh, you too can have all of this. There's no limitation. There's I, I can't take away something that's for you and vice versa. There is enough to go around for everyone. So get yours too. Get yours too. And you start with thinking and acting in a certain way and being grateful to those good things that are brought to you. So I thank you guys once again for joining me here, um, you know, at, uh, at Gail Gentry and, uh, you know, join my group and my own boss, Freedom Tribe, to get yourself another, to get yourself a free download of this book and read this up, read this for yourself. Don't just, you know, depend on what I'm saying, check it out for yourself and continue to get tremendous value at the group. So look forward to helping you. So look forward to helping you grow. Here's to your success. Here's to your huge success. Here's to God blessing you over and over and over and over again. And with that, I will say, go out there, be good to yourself, be good to somebody else, go out there and help somebody today. Guess what? You can't leave, uh, keep it unless you give it away. Therefore, give it away. Have a great day. Bye.